what's going on everybody what's up hope you're doing well here for a uh, another ets2 live stream uh getting a few things squared away i'm just kidding i had to say that for somebody out there but anyway what's up mr worldwide mr b9 bonds good to see you guys hope y'all are doing well it's good to see uh moderators as well mr nick t mr zach hall good to see it josh pulaski we got beast in the house good to see you man caleb 32s what's up man how are you there matt kennedy as well frog man we got jenny's gaming up in the house Ghost Rider, what's up, man? Peely IRL, good to see you, man. Uh, yeah, good to see uh, that you caught one there, being on mod. We we had a little bit later tonight. We're just trying to get a lot of uh, kind of running in on, uh, you know, kind of throwing the throwing the kitchen sink and stream tonight. I had some things ready. Uh, there are a few other things that I didn't have ready, but I'm excited, man. We're going actually go back to Spain today. I'm actually kind of excited. So we kind of started out there yesterday, and I was like, wow, I wish I had stayed in Spain. So we're actually going we're we're going to see that one up. So. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see, uh, I, it's been a little busy, man. But that, I mean, it's all good. Um, but, uh, but yeah, man, I'm, I'm kind of, I'm kind of excited to bring it up. We had a good crowd yesterday. Vi vi the uh, video viewed well, uh, so we're kind of hoping that we have another great crowd tonight on a uh, what's tonight? Tuesday night. We'll see. What's up there, LHP? How are you there, Mr. Brandy? You no know, good, see, man. Pink two eighty one. Good, see you. Modern day outlaw. What's up? I am doing good, man. Hope you guys are. That's <laughs> yeah, all right there. Uh, whoops, sorry, it's all right there. Be nine. Hey, what's up, Ace? Well, thank you, man. We're just trying to, you know, every now and again we facelift, man. Just, just have to. Um, and some of it, Ace, is I just the way that it works for me. Uh, a lot of it, man, is trying to figure out where to place stuff. It's even harder now because I got more going on in the setup. But um, you know, <laughs> you just try to do, you just try to do the best you can with it, uh, trying to place things. But design stream, man, is I try to find stuff that fits my colors, things that kind of go with the channel. Um, it's kind of hard to have like. Um, you know an fps like managed theme because i'm not an fps channel but nobody does driving one so uh, you either wind up looking really stupid and nothing fits and nothing flows together or um you know it, it turns out halfway decent so we're, we're we're shooting for halfway decent how about that man darts good to see you man what's a good item <laughs> tidy killer what's up man how are you buddy jordan grubbs good to see you man nascar or is that jay orndorf what's up man but <laughs> yeah man <laughs> oh man that's funny yeah kind of funny kind of not funny yeah it's all right all right anyway let's roll this intro and i'll be back in 15 we'll see you in a bit I was about to say, where is it? All right, so for whatever reason, I finally figured out what was wrong with my thing. So now we've got all of our stuff running down there at the bottom. So uh, down at the first left is our just recent subscribers from yesterday. That should update as the session resets. It should do it uh, in live stream here. So anyway, those will probably scroll, and I can kind of hold those up. I saw that ASMRJ in Shay, J and Shay. ASMR J and J Nick have subscribed. So um thank you for their subscription there to the channel. All right. So now that we've got that out of the way. <laughs> What's up, Jordan? Well thank you, man. I do too, man. I like them, man. They're they're easy. <laughs> this is what it was. That was a, that was their subscription. Yeah, that was just a subscription there. So um, Almadina, what's up, man? I am doing well, man. Hope you're doing well. Uh, is uh, enjoy port? Yes, dude. Portugal. I'm excited, man. A Shane. Uh, I mean, a, um, a Spain Portugal DLC would be absolutely fantastic. Whether or not they actually do any of that, um, I have no idea if that's going to be a thing, but it should be. How about that? It should be. Um, all right. So we are in a new truck today. So I redesigned something. Uh, this is the older school Scania Six Series. So if you guys know on your trucks and stuff. Um, this would be probably uh, this would be early I guess two thousands. It's not it's not the next gen, but it's the older gen, but newer than like say the four series. And it's four, five, six, and the next gen. I believe is how they do it. Um, if if that's not right, correct me in comments because I Lord help, I don't want to get anything like that wrong. Because um, because yeah, some somebody will call me out on that. So anyway, what's up there, Dave? Game, good to see you, man. Uh, Wolf, what's up, man? Sit master, what's up? Hope you guys are doing well. Let's, uh, so I'm going to try to do some music today. I don't know if it's going to be any good. If it's not any good, just let me know and I'll turn it off. Um, obviously, we I can't copyright strike every single video that I put out. Um, but honestly, if the stuff is not any good, um, 
you know, it's kind of got an old school, they call it a vlog uh, hip hop feel. So um, if it's not any good, it's be like, yeah, just just turn it off, FTG. But honestly, once we get cranking here with the, um, once we get cranking with the, the trucks and stuff, I don't think we're going to have much of an issue. So anyway, let's go ahead and let's uh, start out. So we are going to be in Spain. So I'll let you know what we've already got our load picked up. We are all the way at the corner in here, port side city uh, of, uh, I don't even know if, it, if it's Bilbao. Or Beo. Uh, I have no idea how to say that city in Spain. But anyway, we're going to try to just hang around these roads a little bit. And then we'll jump to some other place. But in Italy, so if you guys will go up to Scandinavia, I've got another really cool double trailer that we could pull up there through a few of those if you want to go that, that area. Uh, even if you want to go over somewhere just random. Think about where you might want to take an next. We could take a couple of short roads right around. We're going to Pamplona. Uh, and then after that, we'll take another short route to somewhere be great if we could get into barcelona because i love that little area it's crazy um so anyway you kind of see here the roads and stuff get all the interchanges get really crazy once you're coming in so we'll uh we'll see if we can do that maybe we'll hop down and try to buy a garage there but anyway that's what's on the docket for they can't go to canada yeah we're in europe roy what's up man what's up man good to see you guys <laughs> Yeah, so Wolf, I'm not exactly sure what you guys are uh, cooking up there, um, but if you got something to say to me, Wolf, put it uh, in Discord. Uh, there's no sense in you and Zach having to kind of keep a secondary conversation going on because I got no idea what you guys are talking about. So uh, that would that would help me out uh, generously if I just actually knew what you were talking about. Uh, I think it's probably got something to do with moderatorship, I, I suppose. That's That's all I can gather on that. Is this going to... Yeah, okay, there it is. All right, it's weird here. All right, let's go back to our uh, rig view. Yeah, there we go. Oh, that's why that was like that. Okay, whoops. All right, let's try to, let's try to do that again. All right. Uh, let's... let's uh, there we go. Whoops! Sorry. Didn't mean to do that, guys. All right, so there we are. We got the uh, Scania Streamline with the uh, got the Griffin, uh, the Mighty Griffin pack, which I absolutely love. And we've also got this slick, awesome Ferrari skin uh, on a brand new trailer here. Sweet. Yeah, lift the black, so all the wheels are blacked out because you know that's just the Ferrari look. It gives it that extra ridiculous sport look. So anyway, let's go ahead. And let's get on out of here. <laughs> Okay, uh, three weeks ago, I, yeah, I get so much of that stuff, man, you'll just have to resend me something, man. Yeah, Sim Master, uh, today's sounds more like, uh, we got an open pipe engine sound in this one. So it's going, it's going to be a little beefier than we, than we have had, which hopefully you guys will, y'all appreciate a little bit. Turn right. Turn right. Some probably will, some probably won't, man. <laughs> but for a Euro truck, you know, having that open pipe, not too bad. It actually sounds pretty decent. Use the left lane. Yeah, I like it, bud. Man, it gives you, especially when you black the wheels out, man, it really gives you a nice sporty feel. <laughs> All right, let's see. Getting out of the port area here. Oh, we took a we took a turn too early. Okay, eh, no problem. I didn't even know that. Yes, it does, Dave. Not sure. Uh, I wonder if traffic's not supposed to be going down in there. They uh, they have completely <laughs> shampooed themselves up. Oh, that's hilarious. All right. <laughs> Well, what's up, Kylo? How are you, man? Meters. Turn right. Hey, yes, it does, there, Brando. It does, man. Turn right. This uh, this particular sound pack actually goes for the the four series, but for some odd reason, it works on this one, which I was a little bit surprised. But you know, Use hey. the right lane, then turn right. <laughs> turn right. Yeah, I hear you there, Jake. What 
the hill. Um, no different setup there, Judge. Everything's still the same. Uh, we're just running things in Euro Truck. Um, but yeah, everything's the same, man. Same, same setup. Well, that's a win there, Kyler. <laughs> it's a win, man. Use the left lane. Uh, a little bit, uh, Sin. Yeah, I, I had been using the. Um... Oh, where are we going? All right, gotta go this way. Right. I had been using the uh, track IR, but honestly, in three screen, man, track IR is too much. So I just use it just to give me a little bit of turn look. I pretty much have a 90-90, but it's not quite 90-90. But it does kind of help as you're going around in turns. It gives a little bit more of a realistic feel. What's up there, Ronald? How are you, man? Ryan in the house. <laughs> All right. So we're back in Spain. So this is where we started yesterday. So I wanted to kind of uh, roll some more on this one because I, I loved, I loved all of this right here, man. The signs, um, everything being legit. So this is all pro mods, just in case you guys weren't here yesterday and have no idea what I'm doing. Use the left lane. We kind of get to see some really cool sceneries as we go around. I haven't actually been on these roads, but I have kind of flew through the routes and stuff. And I was like, yeah, we're going to have to go back there because this is nice. Uh, I don't ever talk about how much I spent on it because I just feel like it just comes across as bragging and people just kind of thumb their nose at it and they're like, yeah, whatever. Um, it's a build. I will say that. It's like any money pit that you put money into, man. It's like a car. It's like... It's like walking up to a guy that's jacked his truck up and put 39s on it and put big old mud tires and some some nasty, awesome wheels on it. They'd be like, how much you got in the whole thing? Some of that's just kind of, you know, figuring out what, you know, what you need for your setup. Because maybe what I have doesn't necessarily work for everybody. So that's why I don't normally talk about it. Use the left lane. Uh, I actually did put the, I did uh, put the computer on payments. Uh, which actually worked out really well for me. But everything else, man, has been working to it. You know, about one thing at a time. <laughs> Still at seven. It's hilarious. Alright, so there's the e brake. Stuff. I love his stuff. Oops. You like him socks, man? I don't drive with shoes. It gets uh, too much grit and grime. Uh, Jordan, no, I don't drive trucks for a living, if that's what you're asking. Porterhouse, what's up, man? Zach, I'm good, man, if you're doing well. What's up, man? Clay, you like that wheel? Yeah, I mean, it's the Thrustmaster. This is the uh, Sparker Rally Edition. Uh, it's a good wheel. It's 13 inch wheel, so it actually feels like a you know, realistic one. What's up, Coffee? How are you, man? Hmm. 
Nah, I'm good, Dylan. Hope you're doing good, man. Golly, my day has been good. It's been a busy day, but it has been a good day. Hey, what's up there, Michael? Yep, that's what's in the title, I think. <laughs> yeah, we're on ETS too, man. I'm kind of, uh, I'm kind of excited to get back in it, man. Get back in pro mods and uh, had a really good intro stream yesterday, so I'm excited. I kind of hate it though. I'm not able to stream really at that prime hour that a lot of the Europeans uh, might would like it, or some of my European fans here on the channel are actually up. It's the only, the only part that kind of stinks about it, but. Uh, well, the game underneath it says Euro Truck Sim 2. There, Michael. Like, if you scroll down on the live, screams, the live stream screen, there's a big square that has the game cover on it. Uh, you can't get the rig off Amazon. You can get some of the pieces that I actually feature on here. Uh, but you can't buy the whole thing from Amazon. There, there's a couple of different ones on there. Um, you know, there's a couple of different rigs you can get. It's not anything that I decided to go with. That's nah, all right, Michael. I, I wish I was, Clayton. We're actually hauling motor roll. So I actually try to keep it, uh... I actually tried to give it, but we are in a really, really slick uh, Ferrari Red with Ferrari Trailer. So we're going to pretend that we've got a car. We'll, we'll pretend we've got the pit crew in here. How about that? Yeah, so we got the pit crew in in house today. So we'll uh, <laughs> we'll, we'll get them off to uh, whatever track we're going to. <laughs> the trail of Schumacher. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Tell you what, man. Traffic moves on ETS, man. I feel like ATS, ATS has always had slow traffic. Well, to most part. But, man, ETS, man... And stuff just keeps it just keeps chumming through. <laughs> uh, a recent F one. We could probably recreate that. But we make it even better, Ryan, is that we could do it with a trailer on the back. So we can pretend we're racing. We just we just got a little caught up in the moment. <laughs> yeah, uh, you can drive all these trucks in ATS. They, they've uh, converted them up for it. Which that, that would probably really throw some people. Why doesn't did, did America have any of these cool railings? We'll paint our railings. Let's, let's petition the government to uh, to paint all of our railings different colors. <laughs> Thank you there, Adam. Appreciate it, buddy. I like it, man. It's enough for me. I feel like I've finally gotten... Uh, basically, at this point, really all I think I, I need it, it now is just basically to keep up with uh, the games. So if the games get... A little more uh, in depth, or they uh, need a little bit more graphics power, a little more juice to run them. That'd be the only thing I can really see at this point, like upgrading. But um, 
Yeah, everything, everything's, it's pretty much now to the point at which I, which I kind of want it. Hey, what's up, nerd? I'm good, man. Hope you guys are doing well. I think I'm staying straight here. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah, yeah, LHP, yeah, that'd be, uh, yeah, I'm going to throw a loop for everybody one night on ATS. I'm going to drive the Volvo, uh, the Volvo F16 from uh, RTA. <laughs> what the heck are you doing, right FTG? Yeah. Turn right. It was bad enough that you did ETS, but my God, man, you've taken it too far. <laughs> Turn right. Uh, we, we get it, Jordan. That's why I'm not answering, man. I Okay, I drive a truck, too. I drive a Toyota Tundra. <laughs> Don't tip me, Modern. I will. Because it'd be funny to see everybody squirm. <laughs> the Volvo gang. <laughs> yeah, we could, we could, we could, we could coin it as the, uh, the ATS Volvo. That's what we'll do. <laughs> there you go, Shane. Hey, man, I love my Tundra. Things been in the shop but once, and that was for something that wasn't my fault. <laughs> What's up, Curtis Tam? How are you, man? Ah, oh, it's good, man. Ah, life is good, man. Hope you're doing well. Got a little bit of a mountainous section here in Spania. <laughs> I actually, this has probably been a month or so ago, a month and a half. The very first one that we kind of did is return back uh, to multiplayer live streaming. Um, that one was actually drove a, um, actually drove a Volvo on that one. <laughs> Nobody said anything. I think that's the one that Nick got stuck. Nick got stuck on the. Uh, we were leaving out of Washington, I believe. And I think he got stuck in one of the uh, one of the on ramps. Well, thank you there, Curtis. Appreciate that, man. And you guys just keep watching them, man. Just keep watching them. Oh, nice, Shane. See what we got going on here. All right, so we're only about 30 game minutes away from Pamplona. And then we'll see uh, if we can. We'll see if I can get uh, catch us uh, another Ferrari-inspired load down to maybe Barcelona or something. Hey, I'm sorry to think of a new name video soon. <laughs> it's actually a really clever name there, but... Um, I've been playing ETS for a long time. Uh, ironically, fun FTG fact of the day, when I first started out streaming and I did Farm Sim, I did ATS, I did ETS, ETS videos got two to three, maybe sometimes four times the video views than ATS ever did. Um, so actually, I had, uh, I had at one time a very um, energetic ETS2 crowd. That was some Europeans, that was some, you know, stateside. Um... And since then, we've of course only done the ATS route. Um, but I love ETS, man. Um, I, I dig the trucks. I dig the, I dig the the cities. I dig the roads. Like I said yesterday, I've been here. I've been to Europe. I've been on like four countries here in Europe three different times, and um, and I love it over here. It's 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 wonderful. Um, so I mean, even though I see this stuff, it's still familiar to me. Um, so I don't feel like I'm totally in just a completely different game different world I mean, it is a different world don't get me wrong um but um yeah man it's just it's good it's good i, I don't quite understand either like some guys you know they're like well i only will watch ats i don't really necessarily get it man because there's a really a lot of good stuff man some of these um some of these sims and some of these driving sims outside of just ats itself the ets has just got so much stuff man so many roads to explore so many great free uh, map mods and so much work's done and 
legwork's been done, man. I'm, I just don't see how anybody could pass all of this stuff up. And it runs so, so much better than ATS. But, you know, hey. What's up, Elu? Yeah, man. No problem, man. You need help with face cam when you go live. Well, what do you mean face cam when I go live? I'm not sure what you mean by that one. Yeah, see, I did, I did know about that. I saw that actually yesterday. I saw something on Twitter. Take the exit on the right. All right, here we go. Dropping. Turn right. Drop this off. See if we can catch something else here. Turn right. Continue straight. Then turn right. Turn right. In two hundred meters, turn right. Oh, right. It even looks like we're even pulling this thing into a dealership. <laughs> I don't know if it's necessarily a Ferrari dealership, but you know, we can pretend. You have arrived. That's what everybody else does. <laughs> just call it just call it uh, ETS2 roleplay with Ferrari trailer. <laughs> People be like, oh my god, it's ro roleplay in the title. I try to float some of them, Adam. Yeah, sometimes they're better than others. <laughs> uh... <laughs> We're about to get into a. Uh... If we get in a debate there, Nick, I don't really want to touch it on the stream. <laughs> What's up, Tyler? How are you, man? Monaco, good to see you, man. Oh. We're playing Farm Sim and knowing half the mods are Euro style. Hmm. Yeah, well, I, I don't. I mean, it still doesn't make sense to me. I mean, I don't know why you still gotta, like. It's weird that you, you know. I guess your prerogative why you don't like any of them, but it still doesn't make sense to me. What's up there, Mayhem? How are you, buddy? <laughs> yeah. Oh, I doubt that's uh yeah, he probably doesn't do that, Nick. He's prob we're probably good, man. <laughs> Very careful, Nick. We will chase you down and we'll start and feather you like we used to do in old days. Alright. Let's uh let's see what else we got in the cargo. Uh that we'll maybe jump up. Let's see. All right, Pamplona. Let's see what else we got around here. Pull a couple another. Would like to pull one into Barcelona. That'd be, that'd be the that'd be the good one there. Let's see if we can get something there. Oh. Empty pallets. You know, may, maybe there needs to. Yeah, maybe we need some. We're going to the DB over there. Sweet. All right. So we're going to Zaragoza. All right. That's fine. Let's do that. Let's see where we see where we're taking that. All right, nine minutes. All right, good deal. Hundred four, what's up, man? How many axles? Uh, we got. Uh, yeah, we got the four here. Here, I'll give you guys a little, uh, a little better look too. Yeah, there we go. All right, Dave. Uh, Ghost Rider, I would love to see if they would. That that would be actually nice. So yeah, we got four with the drop on the the main truck, the eight x four, and then it's got a triple axle there on the trailer with the split and toolbox. So yeah, bang.
Turn right. Turn right. <laughs> yeah, empty Ferrari pallets. I know, man. Oh, well, maybe they need some pallets so they can put their uh, engine blocks on or something in the shop. Who knows? I say, man, it's all about the... But it's kind of funny. I was sitting there thinking. I was like, some people would say, well, you should just role play with the trucks and stuff. And then you don't, like, you know, do it. And they're like, you can't pretend like that. If you can't haul the actual load, then you shouldn't haul it at all. All right, Sam. Use the right lane. Hey, what's up there, Dwayne? The the yeah, right man. Things are good. Hope you're doing well. Take I couldn't see you because right. of the beer. Sorry. It's all right. That was my fault. <laughs> I couldn't see because of my big old fat mirror over here. Hmm, <laughs> which do I like better? Um, so... I've always had a soft spot for um, the right lane. I've always had a soft spot for ETS just because it's different not necessarily because it's better but each one of them have their pros and cons we kind of went through a lot of that stuff Use yesterday the right lane, then take the exit on the right that truck boy is coming up quick take the exit on the right oh hell Good lord, what a, what, a, what a speed bump. Continue straight, then turn right. <laughs> yeah. In 200 meters, turn right. Turn All right, right. So we'll actually, we'll, we'll yield like we're supposed to on this one. <laughs> Whoops. the right lane at the roundabout take the second exit well, what's up Jimmy Mamer good to see you man good to see you so oh uh, what's up there Z71 take almost the missed you in there yeah they do that uh, judge to get people slow down before you got uh, sharp right hand turns we in the states don't do that we just expect everybody to you know we just expect everybody Navigation to, resume. you know, just know that a, a sharp turn's coming. But, yeah, they'll put speed bumps. They do the same thing in Mexico. They'll put large speed bumps and large humps, but you got a little bit more of a, you know, a notice that they're coming. <laughs> but that's just to keep everybody, get them slow before they get on the off-ramp so you're not sitting there uh, pulling all the uh, overturned cars and trucks off the road. All right, going to Barcelona, my favorite city. So we'll, uh, we'll go around back here. <laughs> yeah, I saw that, King of Random. Yeah, I saw that, man. I don't know exactly what happened, but I did see that come across my feed today. I just knew the name. I never really watched any of his content, but I did. Um, I did. I did know the name. <laughs> yeah, I don't. <laughs> yeah, I choose not to slow down either. There, LHB. <laughs> yeah, you know what? I don't have to. I'm free to drive like I want to. <laughs> oh, it's all right, Jimmy. Don't worry about it, man. Navigation resume. All right, let's see. Let's, let's spin around and go back the other way. There you go. Paragliding accident. Oh, yeah, wow. Yeah, see, like that stuff, man, all that extreme crap, that's why I don't do any of that. <laughs> Unless my livelihood depended on me doing random stuff like his did. I just, yeah, I couldn't do it. Huh. 
<laughs> pull rope for the air horn. Yeah, I don't know, man. At, at some point, I, I agree with some people that come in here trying to troll. At some point, you just need to go ahead and get your uh, get your license and just get a CDL and actually drive a truck, even if it's just locally and regionally. <laughs> at some point, man, the pull rope. Yeah, we'll just pull it on a real truck. They <laughs> have a gravity for a reason, yeah. Yeah, and I, I like the plane. Plane's the only only gravity I will defy. Yeah, Seth. No, I'm, uh, it's a question that comes up frequently. Amazon, man. But what I bought is probably right. not going to work for everybody unless you own a Fanatec shifter. Turn right. If you own a Fanatec shifter, then it'll work. But if you don't, it's not going to work. So you need to find a shifter extension that's going to work for whichever shifter that you have. You Come on, Ghost. Right. What kind of... What do you think I'm driving? Huh? What do you think I'm driving? <laughs> I'm in our jails. <laughs> He's like, uh, what? Continue straight. Yeah, that's kind of where I get uh, somewhat there, LHP. That's kind of where I, yeah. At some point, like, you know, all the extra stuff is kind of, it's cool. But yeah, at some point, you just like, yeah, you know what? I think I just go ahead and just, just go get in there now. <laughs> that's all right, Ghost. I didn't put it in the title, so yeah. But I don't think it would have mattered. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> yeah, so if you're doing that, you need to find out either what the thread pattern is for the THA, uh, HA, which they probably do have that somewhere. And then you would need to buy a shifter that has the same extension that has the same thread pattern. Because the Fanatec uh, thread pattern in that one will not be the same. Dave, what's up, man? Darren's downloading eyes now. Oh, God. Well, don't forget the nose and the mouth and the ears. And it'll get the full picture. Use the uh, left nice. lane. <laughs> yeah, I know, man. Yes. Yeah, it's good, man. I think you'll enjoy it, dude. Um, once you get into the mods, and I mean, shoot, man, even the default trucks are still good. Um, you know, Pro Mods is probably the first thing you need to grab. You have to have all the DLC. I will say Pro Mods does have to have all the DLC to run, which there's a very good reason for that. Uh, Wheelbase is the uh, the TSPC from Thrustmaster. It's their, their higher line. Ah, uh, that's possible, Seth. Mine's all, mine's aluminum. Build it aluminum for mine. If that helps out there. Yeah, if you can tap a die, man, that, that's cool. There's not really, it's not really exactly something they sell a lot of. Um, at least not for, like, sim stuff. They'll sell them for, you know, your regular trucks, but not... Not your. They won't sell something specifically for Fanatec or TH. So you, uh, you'll either have to double check your your measurements, or you'll have to custom make one. Oh yeah, yeah, it's fiber. Yeah, man. Yeah, I know a lot of guys do that. I I just don't have the I don't have the 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 Arduino micro uh, knowledge or the USB knowledge and to put in the, the time to put all that stuff together. I think it would be cool though. I just don't. I had the space or the time to, or really the drive to do it. I have plenty of time, just no drive. Let's be honest with ourselves. This is ever, this is honesty with FTG hour. Isaiah, was, what's up, man? How are you, bud? Sorry, I missed your, uh, your chance, of man. Um, 
Um, I didn't like the TH8A compared to the Fanatec. Uh, the pedals are Thrustmaster. Um, the wheel is, but I just didn't like that TH8A. Um, there was just something about it having a... The Fanatec allows me to go from sequential to H pattern just by flipping a switch. And it, it pulls the gate together that keeps it locked in time. Um, th a you have to have like a, uh, you have to have like a bracket that has to go back in. So you have to take the shift knob off, then you have to pull the plate off and put a new plate on just to change it. So for the money that the th a a costs, I just said I'll just go with the handbrake and the shifter from Fanatec because I really wasn't paying that much more, like forty more dollars. So I think I think the Thrustmaster is still two hundred bucks, which for me was too much money for what it was when I could get the Fanatec. Uh, for like 40 more bucks. Uh, Shane, so I, I've got a few in here, man. I'm, this one is the open pipe Scania V8. Um, that's where this one's coming from. Um, some of the other trucks, I run a couple of other different ones. Like uh, I run a Mercedes Benz, just a regular one. I run one for like the default trucks for like the Scania next gen. Uh, I think they all came off the workshop. I didn't get anything from any far out source. It was pretty much all the open pipes. They all sound the same. Is that Freedom Fitter? 1199 too. What's up? Hope you guys are doing well. The Russian map? Yeah. Man, there's so much to explore now, man. I just kind of like... I don't know. Let's see. I'll give you guys a little outside... Uh, I mean, really, it's a bad, it's a bad Mama Jam setup. You got the red with the black wheels on it. And that's the Mighty Griffin uh, Scania add-on pack there from uh, DLC, which is has a lot of really cool stuff on there. Oh, Fighter, Freedom Fighter. <laughs> I said Freedom Fitter. Freedom, oh, yeah, okay, Fitter. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I got you, man. Yeah, my computer was over that there, Malik. Yeah, you're gonna have to spend more than 2,000 for any kind of a setup remotely to get close to this. It's kind of weird there, coffee, but okay. Thanks, Nick. It kind of. Makes everybody feel a little weird again, so appreciate that. I don't know why you guys expect an ATS e-brake on, on ETS. It's just not going to happen. Not going to happen. Sorry. Isaiah, I am transporting Ferraris to Barcelona. Not really. We got some empty pallets, but I figured at some point we might need some empty pallets at the Ferrari uh, at the Ferrari uh, shop down there in Barcelona, so we can maybe have to, um, you know, store our motor oil or something. Our engine blocks, you know, whatever you need a good pallet for. What's up there, Mr. Monts? How are you, buddy? You know, hey, if you're gonna do it, we do it right, right? Use the left lane. You get this hat? 
You can find it at your local tractor supply. All right, Barcelona straight ahead. What's going on, Mr. Jake Brown? How are you, buddy? Crowley, what's up, man? <laughs> wow. Wow, Piper Dad. Wow. Let it roll, man. Yeah, not, not quite there, Dick, but all right. Hey, man, if that gets people to click the button and get $4, well, there you go. That's right, I say, only Ferrari made balance. You got that right, man. Yeah, it'll probably work, Monster. It'll probably work. Don't have to pay this one. We got a telepass. It's going to let us on this. Nope. We got, we got a molly everywhere. All right. Violet, I don't exactly know what uh, how I'm supposed to answer that. Am I nearby? No, probably not. Not unless you're my wife. Uh, the same reason they decided not to put a Peterbilt uh, Jake brake on the back of these things. <laughs> yeah, the toll roads is just to take care of the roads. Um, the road networks over here in Europe are a lot more intricate in a lot of ways than American roads are. So it's the one way that they raise funds, but they might not have certain other things. We might pay taxes in the state. Some of these, the way they uh, internalize, the way they get revenue is a lot of different ways. And one of those is uh, picking up tolls. Of course, a lot of the tolls in Europe are straight drive through. You don't even have to slow down. You just, phew, you just go straight through them. You don't have to stop like these, but I don't know how trucker tolls, I'm not sure how they work. I've never been to Spain. I mean, the ones I've been to Switzerland, Austria, Germany, and all the tolls on those were just straight drive throughs when we went. So I'm not sure if, um, you know, maybe that's a, I don't know. Maybe that's something they did for Pro Mods when they did this. It's kind of all copy paste, copy paste, but I don't know. Somebody's been in Spain, or at least from Spain, then they can answer that question. Everybody's the light bar? Yeah, what on top? Uh, yeah, it's, well, that's actually a shade. Let me get y'all back to the original one. Sorry about that. Yeah, so it's actually a shade in the in the truck. You can actually pull you a couple down, but oh, uh, yeah. I don't know why you guys are having such a problem with that, man. I um, I had no problem tying ETS down to it. What's going on, there, Lo Minko? Yeah, that'll, prob that'll probably work, Monsoor. Probably work. Use the left lane. <laughs> yeah, sound like I guess uh, an angry woodwhacker would tear your legs all to pieces. <laughs>
Yeah, Darren. Yep, you'll find that a lot, man. Um, there's there's a lot more uh, realistic, um, especially the bridging, the the way. That I, so let me put it this way: the way that Washington and Oregon are for ATS, I think ETS has been that way for a long time. So they actually put a lot more of the industry, a lot more of the landmarks, a lot more of that stuff in their default maps before it ever makes it to DLC. Say that, Wolf. About an hour left, we get to Barcelona. We'll see how uh, much improvements they've done over it. I've actually been last time I was in Barcelona, pro mods wise, was the last time they uh, that was the last city they had. Now they've actually added uh, quite a bit on pro mod side, they've added a lot to that. So I'm, I'm kind of anxious to see, yeah, kind of anxious to see how, it'll, how it's all running. How'd you get the wheel off the screen? Oh, um. Go to your profile, the actual folder that your profile is in, and there's a there's a local config file in there. Um, if you open that local config file up, if you know how to do any of that, there is a steering wheel line in there. It says something like G underscore steering wheel, and it'll have a one byte. Just change that to a zero, and it'll take the steering wheel off the screen. You might you might be able to Google it. It might it might be on uh, Google, but. It works good for me because I don't need it because I sit close enough to the dash to, to at least give me the, um, you know, give me the feel that I'm actually there. Got that truck over there. Got a nice little wreck there. Never see that. Red Bull Athlete, what's up, man? Sorry I missed you guys up there. Oh, the light bar on the roof. Yeah, it's it's yeah, it's a crazy killer bike. Let's see, one of those, I think. Front auxiliary, roof auxiliary. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, it's it's crazy bright in the um, I mean, it's like anything else. If you get the if you get lights down on the front, then it does shine further, at least on the road in front of you. When you add the roof auxiliaries, it really does uh, make the everything else, all the tops of the trees and stuff, light up. Probably a little bit. Honestly, it's probably a little bit too bright. Hey, we'll see you there, Fiber Dad. Don't let the, the, the cocky Americans uh, run you off. <laughs> nah, they don't have it for ADS. Oh, come on. I'm on the brakes, man. Oh, we got you there, Brian. I'm feeling we're going to be getting off here pretty soon. Use the left lane. <laughs> Damn, that asshole. <laughs> oh, it's not full tilt.
Dang it. I'm not mad, but I kind of am. Boy, man, you guys are almost, but <laughs> everybody's been going far tilled, far tilled. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if that's necessarily a good thing, there, Nick. <laughs> We're kind of kind of active for all the wrong reasons. <laughs> Well, that's alright, Artie. That's what I said. I'm not bad, but I kind of am. Yeah, it's full till. Duh. Yeah, not full till. I did see someone shared uh, a picture of uh, somebody that was obviously a fan of this channel. <laughs> and he downloaded a full tilt trailer skin and then he posted in the couple of the ATS. Just got my full tilt gaming skin. I was like, wait a minute. Can you read? <laughs> it was clearly the full tilt. I was like, ah. I just shook my head. I was like, oh, what? Just kept on scrolling. Take the exit on the right. <laughs> yeah, no problem there. I was racing. Take All right. The exit on the right. All right, here we go. All right. Use the left lane. Roundabout, take the first exit. Well, not really about location, Ghost Rider, but more or less just the actual name. Take the exit. Man, this is in depth right here now. Love these big old port cities. Let's see, let's, uh, let's roll a little. At the roundabout, take the fourth exit. Yeah, but this is the Ferrari the junkyard. <laughs> That's what this yeah, looks like. <laughs> oh, did we go in the wrong way? Oh, we are. Oops. All right, let's hurry up. I know, coffee. I know. I don't really like red, but I like Ferrari red. <laughs> it doesn't make you feel as self-conscious about yourself. Have 
All right. Whoops. Oops. <laughs> You'd be the only one, bud. Everybody's just stream dirt. It'd be wonderful to see some dirt 2.0. Silence. Silencio, por favor. All right, let's do one more. What have we got? Hour five? Yeah, let's do one more. All right, let's see. I think uh, let's go ahead. So I think we did. Yeah, yeah, okay. All right, so we did uh, We did that little route. We did two routes here. Let's, uh, let's pull a double out of somewhere else, somewhere random. Nate, what's up, man? Let's go to, hmm, I almost said we just go to Ireland, but we need to go to double land. Doubles, 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 doubles. Let's go to, hmm, Trailborg. Either there or we could go over to, hmm, let's go to Karlstad. No, let's go to Stockholm. How about that? Yeah, let's go to Stockholm. I think that's right. I'm just trying try to remember the one that I want to do. One of these, I like to do some doubles through one of these, and it's really pretty good, but I'll probably miss it yeah, like I normally do. All right, I tell you what. Let's go ahead. I will grab the double trailer because I've already got one set up. So we'll dismiss that Ferrari trailer. We'll pick up this one. The ultimate beast in Ferrari goodness and redness. And let's go to, let's make sure we got the right road. I mean, right city. Christian Sand. Let's go there. There we go. We've got that, so now we can make it daytime. And let's go to. Got to discover the city first. There we go. <laughs> the magic of the dev tool. Okay. Oh, it took us to the wrong one. All right, that's all right. We can still do Finland. Protective clothing. Yeah, that'd be a good one. Oh, truck tires. 
Yeah, take some truck tires there, FTG. Take some copper roof gutters to make sure all the racers don't get wet at the racetrack. Let that take us back through Stockholm almost. All right. Let's see what's over in Pori. Look at their performance forks. Not for Ferrari, but... Oh, Chase Limos. That's, uh, that's cheesy. Cheesy! <laughs> All right, let's see what I got here. Yeah, we could do that, I guess. All right. meters turn left yeah totally different up here bud yeah turn you, you get a little bit more of the, the wide open room once you once you actually get up here man it changes quite drastically and not to mention it's like meters, um turn right i feel like everything gets a lot tighter up here turn right You have arrived. <laughs> I've watched it with no loads. <laughs> oh. Yeah, it's kind of true. It is kind of true. Navigation resumed. Just got a little bit of rain today. <laughs> yeah, my, the back end of that trailer wasn't quite where it needed to be. Make sure these trailer yeah they did man why do they keep doing that i don't have automatic drop on the trailers but they certainly keep dropping
In 200 meters, turn right. Turn right. Take it there, Nick. <laughs> Teared by, man. Nick, Nick knows how hard I've worked trying to get this thing to look halfway decent. <laughs> oh, it's a lot of, a lot of late nights, man. I just don't know what to do. I just don't feel like it looks that good. In 200 meters, turn left. It is very vibrant. I was looking turn up there left. at the preview screen. It does. Well, thank you there, bud. <laughs> yeah, we'll be no hand tattoos here, but yeah, we might could break out a hornet or two. Yeah, no, I, I don't Continue think he, I don't think anybody's gonna cry. The three tags in the window. All right, yeah, that's a good question. So, uh, the Crone is from the Crone DLC, so I've got that. And uh, Goodyear and the ETRC are from the two events they had on uh, ETS. Uh, with ATS, we had Big Sur. ETS had Goodyear at ETRC. We had race trucks that we had to deliver uh, all around. So once you got those, uh, once you, I guess once you went above and beyond their normal delivery date. If you did the extra bits, they gave you tags and gave you some right. stuff that you could, you know, kind of like the uh, the Forestry DLC has that little chainsaw that you can hang. Same same idea. Except I don't think in ATS we have any of that. They don't really do the tags. But evidently in Europe, like, that's a big thing. Like, they rock all those tags and the carpets and all the tassels and stuff. Like, they rock that to... Tat, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, buddy. Yeah, no, I would not get a hand tap. Negative. Negatory. Yeah, that's yeah. What well, they really don't have that stuff in ATS. Like, I was trying to think they gave us a couple of paint jobs, but that was about it. Like, we didn't get little. At least I don't remember if we got little, little dolls or anything. We got the, you know, we got the chainsaw with the DLC, but I don't think the ATS events like Big Sur. I don't think any of those had any like cool stuff you could kind of like, you know, sport like a multiplayer. Because all those tags and stuff I can sport in multiplayer and hang them on the window as well, so people, other people can see that I've done those events. So be kind of cool if they had some stuff like that for ATS, but they just don't. That's what I mean. Like, a lot of times we talk about, you know, we, we feel like we kind of get left out on the dark a little bit. Um, that'd be one of the reasons why. What's up there, gamer? How are you, man? Hey, what's going on there, Wonder? How are you, buddy? Yeah, the hanging loader. Well, that was, well, yeah, you only got the one that gave you, like, yeah, that was uh, like a plush toy. Like, with these events, you got, like, three or four different things. And I hated that plush toy, man. The thing, all I did was just flop vigorously just all over the dead gun cab. I was like, it's so annoying. <laughs> so annoying. Interesting. That is interesting there, Mons. Thanks for Reaper. What's going on, buddy? Well, we just hauling doubles, Ferrari doubles. Uh, we are in Finland now. We're going to be hopping over to Sweden, right north of Stockholm. I figured we'd do a little, a little double with the Ferrari trailers. So we uh, we're going through uh, through the wooded areas now. It's south to the ferry. I was trying to remember those couple of roads I wanted to take, but I think they're on the uh, I think they're on the Norwegian side. I'll have to go back and find them. Use the right lane, then. Continue straight. And see, that's dumb. Continue straight. Yeah, we don't want you to have any kind of cab toys, but yet we'll let you have a visor that completely obstructs your view. Uh, you know, makes sense.
<laughs> just say he's a pass for ATS. <laughs> That'll never happen. That'll never happen. <laughs> a 50 state season pass for the next eight years. <laughs> Yeah, I'm bound to. <laughs> I'm bound to. It's like, man, it's 60 up in here. Why are you doing 50? Here we go. That doesn't even sound right for a RTX, man. Then you don't have an RTX if it only has an HDMI and a VGA. I can assure you that I wouldn't think the uh, the 2070 is going to have. I mean, I've got a 1060 overclock from ASUS, and that sucker had four displays and two HDMI's and a D no three DVI uh, three Display Ports, two HDMI's and a DVI. So I I don't I, that one doesn't make. I don't, they don't even put VGAs on like a 2070. That's like brand new stuff. Yeah, I, I don't know, man. I'm not a PC wizard. Um, without looking at it, I just don't think VGA is what you have. Yeah, that's why I was about to say I don't think you have a 2070. Subscribe. Thank you there, Noel. Appreciate it, man. Oh, what's up there, DeAndre? How are you, man? Man, what what is I wonder if it's uh if it's the rain and weather. I'm like, man, come on guys. We're doing like 40 out here. Yes, yeah, uh the 1080 uh, only has one HDMI, but I have three display ports. So I mean, most of the time they're not gonna put any more than four or five and I even think like the 1060 I have has four connections and the DVI I'm like so it's even got five it's got more than the 1080 Ti I have has which is kind of weird what's up there mr. Valderamo how are you man hope you're doing well I'm oh, sorry there Vondell what's up buddy how are you man hope you guys are doing well use the right lane then take the exit on the right yeah, we might, we might, we might can work that. We're, we're kind of hoping for a, a good moment in the video, once. That's all we're hoping for. In 200 meters, turn left. Turn left. Mike Pregrass, what's up there? Carlene Lawson, what's going on? Hope y'all are doing good. Enjoyed a little uh, ETS of you guys just coming in. We are uh, we are at least on route on the north end. Pro Mods, Scandinavia DLC. We're in Finland right now. We're fixing to hop over 
I think this uh, I think this road is going to lead us down to yes so we're going down to Port City here and then we'll go back into Sweden for our last uh, last drop off here the evening as long as people come back and still continue to watch them ghost we're gonna start doing some convoys as well so if you guys uh, especially that are that are here that are just kind of checking things out maybe you've never Maybe you're an ETS fan. Whatever the case, we're going to start doing some Friday convoys as well. we got a lot of guys that want to drive some ETS. So I think we'll try to feature a little bit of both. So we'll do those on Friday night. And then we'll feature... Um, whoops, we go one more. There we go. We'll feature uh, ETS on Saturday like we have been doing. So stream it up a little bit there. Jesus Vasquez Gonzalez. Thank you there, man. Appreciate these sub. I just wish I could stream when actual, you know, like when, when all the guys that really, really like ETS are, are actually up. <laughs> Most of them are all asleep. Even the guys that like my channel. <laughs> like, yeah, it's too early for me, bro. In 200 meters, turn left. Turn left. Darren, what's going on, man? All right, well, here's the ferry. You're up. <laughs> I've always liked this. Like, this is a little bit of a. I've always liked pulling into these big old huge ferry ships. Same way. Have you never played in multiplayer? Yeah, they work the same way. If you're if you're legitimately asking that, you pick where you want to go and then it zips you right there. Oh wait, a curly nest. Uh yeah, Carly, yeah, you don't have to worry about any of that. Same way with ETS. Hmm, which one am I supposed to go? I think we're supposed to go here. Navigation resumed. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> this is good area. Yeah. <laughs> That's pretty driving out of there with that uh, with that lighting there. It's nice. <laughs> Where's cheer to buy? Continue straight. Oh man, yeah, you get a log it, dude. It's almost as busy during the day. And there'll be like three over three thousand people on the map during the day, man. It's absolutely insane. I love it. And now it's not gonna be as that many people on when when you know we're doing a convoy, which will kind of suck. Uh, but it'll it'll still be fun. Thank you there, Darren. Appreciate it, buddy. Yeah, the RJL Scandia. It's kind of, kind of a, you know, it's kind of like having Vipers 389. It's kind of just goes without saying. It's the only truck you really need. No, they don't, Elu. They don't have any of that braking problem. Once you, uh, once you let off the brake, man, you actually let off the brake. <laughs> you gotta go figure, right? Uh, this will be our last one, Judge. Yeah, look at that sun glare coming in. Probably catch a sunset. Woo!
the roundabout. Take the second exit. Take the exit. Hey, what's up there, Raj? How are you, buddy? Gotta watch, make sure these, uh, make sure these roundabouts don't sneak up on you. No, it's, it's still there. I don't, I mean, honestly, ETS is so different than ATS because ATS I can't really see. Uh, ETS you get to see so much more of the actual out the window because you're so close and I can get really close to the dash and when I can look down I can see all this stuff. So I just, I don't run the iPad because I don't really have to to be honest with you. I don't have to run it anymore. I run it in, in ATS just because it, it does make some sense because I will refer to it but, but this one man, I, I don't know. <laughs> just haven't done it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, C fifteen, yeah, that might be. Yeah. There'll still there'll still be some that No, oh, you can't do that. It's not a real thing. <laughs> yeah, I know Elu. That's that's why I like it, man. I like driving it because it feels better too. I mean you actually feel like you're more part of the road actually sitting in the truck. ATS you still feel way, way, way off of things. And then everybody wants to see the steering wheel and can you turn your face cam off? Can you just not play on your setup and just do it for me? Like, eh, no. <laughs> Paraphrasing slightly. Not really. Yeah, there you go, bud. Bud always finds a good way to segue into a nice plug, man. There you go, man. Thank you for that, man. You guys always want to know how how do I how do I become a uh, how do I become a moderator? That's it. So it's a good model to follow right there. Take the exit on the right. Here we go. Woo! Shoot you out like a bottle rocket. Here we go. Left lane. <laughs> yeah, we'll probably do that one, Nick. <laughs> so what you want to do is pick the color green that your background is. Then you want to turn your lights down. Oh yeah, Raj. Yeah, man. It's got tons of feedback. I've actually got it turned up a little bit for ETS. ATS, it still feels weird. You turn it up, it just feels like I'm turning. It, it, it actually works backwards the way it should. And I'm like, who didn't think about this? But if you think about it, it should be harder to turn when you're just sitting still versus when you're actually going. But they haven't figured out, at least they at least they haven't on any of the SES games, they haven't figured out how to like fine-tune that to where... You have this happy medium that the wheel freely kind of turns, but still centers, but doesn't feel like a rock trying to turn, you know what I mean? The right lane. And that's the problem. They just they haven't figured that part out yet. If they could, the steering wheel man would feel like awesome if they could get to that point. <laughs> Didn't wear sunscreen, that's foul. Take the exit on the right. Did you go to <laughs> Someone says, why don't you go to the beach, man? Got some sun on your face. Nah, I just streamed last night. Oh, okay. Makes perfect sense. <laughs> oh, wow. Come in with a full tilt gaming account? Wow. I don't even know how you did that. Turn right. Uh, should be Friday, Kona, if we can. It'll be Friday on ETS, and it'll be, uh... ATS. Oops. 
and it'll be ATS on uh, Saturday. Yeah, we'll do a Friday, man. We'll see if the ETS side's any better than the, uh... <laughs> I don't have to. <laughs> Pretty simple. At the roundabout, take the second exit. Hey, let's go there, Mr. Rob. Take the exit. Oh, yeah, you're Saturday. Yes. That would be correct. Well, by the time we get done, by the time we get done, it'll actually be that. Yeah, so you're not too far off. <laughs> and I'll post up where we're going to go and all that good stuff, so you'll, you'll know ahead of time where we're going to meet up. Hey, what's up there, Elvis? Good to see you, man. And it's not tilt. It's tilt, but okay. In 200 meters, turn right. Uh, what do you mean, how do I face cam? Turn um, right. You just gotta have a camera, and then you gotta add that as a video setting. I mean, you there's tons of videos on YouTube now how to do that stuff. Yeah, that's where I learned how to do it all. Um, let's see. Wait a minute. Oh, I'm trying to miss it there. Turn left. Yeah, man. What do I think of that? Oh, the Toby Eye Tracker. So, hmm. I don't really know. JJHS, thank you there, man. Wait a minute. Full tilt gaming, man. I, I kind of got to laugh, and then and then I kind of don't laugh, because I still don't even know how you did that. So I guess you just changed your display name. Thank you there, JJ. Appreciate it, bud. I guess I'll be flattered. Whoops. Navigation resumed. Turn right. Got a road sign? Oh, we're gonna scuff our tires. Maybe not. Maybe not. Come on around. Come on we around. The there we go. Thank you, there, Cole. <laughs> I like it. I think it's I think it's pretty bad of the bone, if you ask me. Cut some strobes on for effect, you know. <laughs> Hey, how's it going, Alex? Good, man. Yeah, I did see the Goodyear stuff. I, I'm curious to see what, if that's uh, going to be like, uh, I mean, on a Goodyear, that's always on a trailer, but I don't really know how they're going to implement that in the DLC or whatever. I'll be interested to uh, find out more about it. Definitely. What's up, Smokey Devanna? How are you, man? Yeah, the truck install if you're on a, uh, if you're on, like me, if you're doing it on manual. Uh, well, I'm not sure what you, 
You, you might need to resize your, your, your stuff in there. May resize your boxes. Uh, Tarmax is Peely, um, except I just don't have it activated right now. Um, that way, people, I, I, I was missing, you know, stuff in chat a lot. So I wanted to kind of bring things, kind of collectively get chat controlled again. Um, and that way I could, you know, <laughs> I could actually see chat. Because then every people put Tarmax in, it would give you like three or diff uh, three, um, two or three different responses to that. And I was, it's just too much. And there's no way for me to actually fix that and just have one response so anyway uh all right what's up mark yeah we'll talk mods later uh fixing to go ahead and end up here tonight so thank you guys for coming out and watching another ets we will probably uh schedule allows we'll probably be back on the ats side of things tomorrow uh, but i'll still continue to keep uh, sprinkling some ets stuff in i enjoy driving this and don't forget as well fridays we'll try to do ets convoy on friday i'll put everything in the discord so if you're watching this if you're european um, and you would like to join or you're a fan of the channel want to join that, then we will be Friday night, 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, my time, which if, uh, depending on where you're at, I'll have, to, I'll have to figure out the GMT on that. But anyway, I think it's five five hours, I think, so it's three GMT. But anyway, uh, I'll put all that stuff up in the Discord, and then we'll kind of go from there if you guys want to join. I'm sure half of my guys will enjoy that um, as well, so we should have a lot of our normal streaming crew will be with us. And then also Saturday, we'll be back on ATS uh, for a convoy there, multiplayer on that one as well. So thank you there, Golf. Appreciate it, man. Um, you guys are awesome. So appreciate it, man, as well. We've got new subs in the house tonight, so thank you guys. I did finally get our, our sub ticker. We got all that stuff fixed. Uh, and if, just so you guys know, mainly so I can give these guys proper shout outs, uh, our middle, uh, scrolling names are the guys there for super chats, top, uh, top monthly super chatters. Um, and then or actually weekly, I think, is it weekly? No, it's monthly. Uh, our top monthly super chatters. And so that list is always revolving as uh, new guys kind of come in and donate to the stream. And then our guys on the right side is the guys that have donated into Streamlabs. So I kind of separated those because they have uh, guys that do both. So anyway, thank you guys. Big thumbs up for all the support here on the channel as well. Also, what's up, man? Yes, ATS Multiplayer Saturday. So um, so anyway, you guys, uh, <laughs> European. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's actually a good one there. That's actually a good one. Um, so anyway, you guys have a good night. I will see you here all in, uh, hopefully tomorrow, live stream here. We'll be back on probably ATS tomorrow night. So anyway, guys, peace. We'll see you guys.